Hi buddies, welcome back, it's Anne Sophie and today I have the new Motorola Moto G23 here. Um, this is the phone, this is what it looks like from the back. It's white, I think it looks pretty nice. It has like a little like shine to it. And then we have the camera here, also looks really fancy. Yeah. This is what it looks like from the front. Um, and we got welcomed here and can make emergency calls and set our vision settings and click on start here. The first that comes up is to connect to a mobile network. If you have a SIM card, insert that now. We're gonna say skip that because we have a separate video for that. Now we want to connect to Wi-Fi so you are able to like download apps and stuff. So I'm gonna put in my password now. If you click on show password, it will show you your password and you can just check if you put it all in right. I'm gonna say connect and hopefully that works. Um, connected, no internet, that's not good, but that probably changes. Getting our phone ready. This may take a little while. All right. Now we have the privacy and software updates. Uh, Motorola collects and reports usage information to keep your software up to date, provide personalized support and improve products and services. Date collect will be transferred to Motorola service in the USA. You can change your privacy preferences anytime by going to settings, privacy and Motorola privacy. Help improve Motorola products, um, enhance device support and smart updates. Um, you can have these all enabled. I don't really want to share all this information right now. So I'm going to disable these and click on accept and continue. Copy apps and data. You can choose to transfer your apps, photos, contacts, Google accounts and more. If you click on next, it will like go with you through the steps. So like get a cable, get the other device. Um, I don't have another device though that I want to copy apps and data from. So I say don't copy. You can now sign into your Google account that also um, helps you in like the play store if you don't have a google account you can totally go ahead and create one i'm gonna put in my email now click on next and put in my password and now we have the google terms of service here um the google play terms of service and the privacy policy you can click on these and read more information um, but you pretty much don't have any other option than say I agree or don't add this account now. So we say I agree. Now we come to Google services, um, tap to learn more about each service, such as how to turn it on or off later. Data will be used according to Google's privacy policy. Use basic device backup, use location, allow scanning or send usage and diagnostic data. Uh, you can disable this. Um, you can also disable these as you like, but just a note on the side, if you disable use location, the allow scanning will be disabled automatically with it. This can just be on if the use location is on. You can read through it, read more information and then enable and disable these as you like, accept. And now we can choose our search engine. The search engine you choose will be set as default in a search box on your home screen and in Chrome. The app will be installed from Play. You can install other search apps and reconfigure it your home screen and Chrome at any time. So if we click on these little errors here, you can get more information about the apps. Ecosia, for example, plant trees and protect your privacy as you search. That sounds good. We'll go through with that for now. But as a show, you can also like reconfigure that later as well. Set a pin. We have a separate video for that as well. So we're gonna say skip. Continue setup, keep going to get your device fully set up or leave now and get a reminder to finish later. We're pretty much set up for the start. We say leave and get a reminder later. Getting your phone ready, this may take a few minutes. Stay in the know, join 126 million Motorola fans who receive exclusive information about products, launches, events, tips, software updates and much more. And not now, not now. Uh, wait, there's more so we can register for that thingy now. We say not now, but you can totally go ahead and do so. 
Then we can choose our navigation style. You can always change your mind later in setting system and gestures. Um, so we have the button navigation style where we have this button to go back here to go out to our home screen and then like see the last pages we visited. Or we have the gestures. So like with a swipe, we can go back and forth and all that stuff. So that reminds me a bit of the iPhone navigation style. I'm gonna go with the buttons and say next. Choose your theme. You can always change your mind later in settings and display. You can choose the light theme or the dark theme, whatever you like best. I'm gonna go with light now and say next. And then we're all set. You're ready to start using your phone. Click on done. And, and now we're on our home screen. We have our search engine here and now we can get started. So that's how you set up and configure it and go through the first steps on your new Motorola Moto G23. Hope you liked it, hope it helped. If so, thumbs up, share and subscribe and I hope to see you next time. Bye.